Hey guys, what's up? It's about Mr. Licks, and we're definitely back again for another reaction on this uh, Mr. Licks reaction. Guys, of course, I'll be dropping another reaction on the BRBP TV channel a bit later on. But of course, welcome to this uh, reaction, guys. Let's get into the vibrations for today right now. Brothers and sisters, now, over the weekend, there was something rather interesting that took place. And of course, I must share it with you guys, of course, what is taking place in the nature of the Caribbean. Months of July, now we can't go UK and nobody don't know why. Some say it's CBI, or as the Queen die. The person that spoil us, why they have to die? One, let's go to the rhythm two, let's go to the rhythm one, two, two, one. Never make a worry on that tree. Who that caused that to happen, brothers and sisters? Who is the one who is responsible for that happening? And of course, this individual what? hopefully they, they do not do him anything <laughs> because sometimes when you go against the system people want to put a little pressure on you <laughs> okay so hopefully he's he, he you know but he definitely put out that information and i'm guessing individuals are getting fed up well not the queen no some didn't say cbi the actual people that stopped dominica from actually having visa free access Stated it was the CBI program, um, the, the, the different um, abuse of the CBI program. That's why they stopped it and put and restrict Dominica to get visa who need to get visa to get tra um, to travel to the UK. So that is exactly why. Okay. The person that spoiled us, why they have to die? No, the basis of who's, who caused that to uh, happen, I don't think that, that the person deserves to be, you know, cut from reality or cut from life, brothers and sisters. I, I don't think that is the case. All I think he's speaking um, meta metaphorically. Let's hope he's metaphorically. He's speaking. Um, but yeah, I think we need to cut that person off. That person who caused that to happen. The main person who caused this to happen to Dominicans. Not to themselves, you know. <laughs> The person can still go UK visa free. <laughs> but to Dominicans. <laughs> but at the end of the day, I don't think that is a, a joyous occasion. You know, like God read him. I guess you're trying to tell the people something and you're using music to do that. But um, let go the reading is not a joyous occasion. Let go the reading is celebration. But anyways, brothers and sisters, um, we have some distractions, you know, some other distractions took place over the weekend to try to, you know, make people forget what is going on. And of course, we have the bike life movement, right? There. More distractions for the people, you know, distracting the people of what actually going on. And of course, the bike life is definitely in the building to do their thing. It's been a while since I saw them actually do this. And all of a sudden, wow, I just hear them coming up i'm not sure who organized this um but whoever organized this this is a clear distraction you know i guess to keep the people a little free up man you know you free up themselves from what is going on man. yes i don't. i like that bike i like that bike hopefully the individuals who are in charge of this they are the ones who you know will, will, will be supplying tires for the individuals out there because i know tires are not cheap but of course <laughs> I know I missed out on that one, no doubt about it. I would have been there. Yeah, man, I would definitely been there to ensure that you guys get a nice, proper footage, a proper vlog, man. You know, they can't do it like me. <laughs> but it's good to see a little activities like that taking place, man. A little free up. I'm guessing this took place on Saturday. Um, I'm not sure. But I like that vibe that I'm seeing there. They should have, they should have bring it closer, man. Okay, the round closer. Yes, sir. <laughs> I think the bike, when the bikes have this kind of long thing, they're made for speed. Um, the bikers out there who are going to be watching this video, let me know now. Easy, 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 easy. Easy up and up. Yes, man. But you know, I think that, that would have been a nicer place to, to do this. Although they have barriers there, brothers and sisters. Or they have barriers there. I think they should have, you know, put some sort of... Or not put them. I think they should have had it in the Kinfield on the Kinfield Airport. We don't really have much things coming in the Kinfield Airport. I think they should have done it there, you know. So the people will actually be much more safer if 
just in case a guy goes willy in. You know, things, situations can happen and he ends up going into the crowd and stuff. This little fence will do very little, especially people are gathered there, a lot of people there. And you know, to move back might be an issue. So, I think the king for the airport is the eye. Yes, sir. Touching the tail. Yes, sir. Easy vibes. Okay, so night time, take them there, brothers and sisters. Night time, really session making ding dang. It seems like there are more people there. Yes, man. To us, to us, to us. Easy does it. We bow no, bow no, dinner boy. You go was dinner. I don't know if you was there. And of course, rest in peace to Mordecai. I know Mordecai would have definitely been there to do his thing. We got Mordecai one time. When you have a skill set, you have to utilize it. Yeah. Timmy, we got Timmy one time. I don't gonna lie, it's been a moment, man. Back in the day, man, we used to have a lot of bike life, a lot of bike life activities. So this has been a, this is, this is definitely been a moment, I must say, a definite moment indeed. But then fellas, to us, you know, panting, man, they doing their thing. Yeah, man. But I, I, I wish I was there. I don't gonna lie, I wish I was there. Oh, so this is okay. So this is the next day, brothers and sisters. This is the next day where I went. I think they were doing an island tour. Um, I think the last island tour on bikes I did was in Saint Lucia. Man. That's a long time ago. <laughs> That's a long time ago. For Saint Lucia Independence, as before the whole Runa situation. That's what been twenty eighteen, I think. Man, that's a long time ago, man. That's crazy. But yeah, they 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 seem like they're doing some sort of. Island tour, bringing the bikers and whatnot. All sorts of bikes, the bikes, street bikes, T Max. What are you going in the gas? You have to get your gas, man. Get your gas. Oh, look, Uncle, do this thing there, didn't we? Yes, I, Uncle. But next time, guys, film this way, no, not this way. Film this way. What is it? No, no cell phone zone. Okay, yeah, you might, you might kaboom the place. So no cell phone zone. Yes, sir. So Uncle do this thing. Big up Uncle and his skill set right there. Yes, sir. Easy Instagram reel. Easy or YouTube shorts. Easy. <laughs> what are them? <laughs> but be careful. Tires, eh, boy. Tires, tires. Well, tires have to burn, eh? Yes, I uncle. Easy, 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 easy on the layup. Easy on the layup. So they do the pit stop. It seems like in the Kingfield area. Yes, man. Easy layup. Easy, easy does it. Do his move along. So yes, guys. I think this is where they went up, and they are heading to the east side of Downingdale. Yeah, man. Max, hey, that is union there, that is unification right there. <laughs> unification, all types of bikes, but what them scooters now? <laughs> well, the T Max is a, a hybrid scooter. Too. I was gonna bring on T Max, you know, I see. <laughs> boy, customs is a devil, you boy. Customs is from Satan, boy. <laughs> Easy, but I call you mad. Brothers and sisters, do that to do that to you, nah. If you have a tricycle, you can try it, but do that to the woman. <laughs> because <laughs> bike, bike, bike fall not easy. I fall already on bike. I can tell you. <laughs> I fall already on bike when my foot, my bone of my foot was showing, but I healed back already. Thank God for my genetics. <laughs> Some of you might frighten me when I see that, but you know, it's things different things can happen when you might be coming up from your bed and 
you know, you just don't make it the next day, you don't make it for the rest of the day. So I always believe in living life to the maximum, man. Enjoy what you enjoy. Live life to the maximum. Be careful. Don't always put yourself in danger and stuff. I'm not gonna why is it blurry, man? Why did it make it blurry? so blurry? Anyways, let's move along. These are the squaddies right there. Yeah man, everybody coming on the tour. Everybody coming on the tour. Tony Dominique. <laughs> yes man. So I think these are some of their, 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 their folks as well. They on the tour too man. I guess that's the music truck. Hey, hey. You can't go on tour without your music. <laughs> but then again, <laughs> that truck might be driving so slow. That you might not, you know, hear the music too well. Anyways, brothers and sisters, they happen to stop in Portsmouth, right there by Maps gas station. You can see a number of them stopped in Portsmouth to refuel, I guess, pit stop area and what have you. And they definitely made themselves, uh, uh, um, you know, a part of that scenario. I guess the other Portsmouth bikers met them. I don't think the Portsmouth bikers went up to Roseau, but some of the Portsmouth bikers actually met them right there. And of course, this is them doing their thing as well. They're doing some vibes there man. Some burnouts, some burnouts. I hope somebody sponsoring or retires it. <laughs> somebody sponsoring or retires. I hope so eh. But I'm not gonna lie, I might I might do I move, I would have probably do a few burnouts here and there. Yes man. <laughs> I wouldn't make my tires no more but <laughs> it's just the vibe, it's the action man. You just get when you there man. The niceness, brothers and sisters. It does feel nice. Hey. Um. Oh, this is another video of when they left. So they left Portsmouth, and I'm guessing this shows the amount of bikers that 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 I think this is a Portsmouth biker right there. And if anybody will send me that video, big up yourself right there. Because I've seen people for a number of videos when it comes down to the bikers and what have you. So they did the stunts yesterday, they did the, 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 the extravaganza yesterday, bike extravaganza, um, not yesterday, I think it's on Saturday, um, and then they took the bike tour um, on Sunday, which was yesterday, and this was them leaving Portsmouth, this is around the point wrong area, I think further up there they're trying to do some sort of stadium thing, run a stadium, that's what they see. But um, I don't know much about that. Yes, guys. So you see them coming down, doing their thing right there. Yes, man. The bikers making their way down. They going back down south. I wonder if there were people from Grand here as well. I guess the cars in it too, or the cars probably going down to, to check this in too. Anyways, brothers and sisters, there was some wild stuff taking place. I think this is on the east side. There was some wild stuff taking place. I think this is on the east side. But then there is this particular one that was interesting. <laughs> Where was the good? I think that the you see where the bike can end up. So I'm guessing there must have been some sort of speed there. And the truck slowed down, causing a bit of mayhem. This is why I always tell people not to panic. So the, I guess this biker decided to go on the side and that's one of the things that I actually had this situation happen to me already once guys In Portsmouth, I was riding and then this vehicle just pulled brakes right in front of me man. And for some strange reason I, I was gonna press brakes and if I pressed my brakes brothers and sisters I would have slid And of course when you slide in brothers and sisters you either slide into the vehicle or you fall down and there was just a bit of an injury right there But I decided no I'm not gonna press brakes I just Turn to the side and wall right the um, sidewalk instead. You know, the bikes, they, guys, they always have a little something in it, no doubt about it. You just have to know not to panic. And I learned that from the late McNeil Marie. Um, he passed away as a result, I guess he tried to pull brakes, and we saw the long stretch that he had, you know, and ended up um, co um, colliding, with, uh, colliding with something, either a vehicle or something on the, on the side of the road, or something like that, brothers and sisters. And you know, he ended up, you know, passing away as a result of that man. So I remember in my head, brothers and sisters, when you see certain situations happen, not always learn how to adapt. And in that case, you do not panic. Anytime there's some sort of situation like that, 
you do not panic at all. Think fast. Learn to think fast. Critical thinking. That is the key right there. So kudos to the biker who actually, you know, avoided the situation. Because I think the truck, the truck is the truck individual should should not have. Well, he oh he was probably turning. He was probably turning. But it's a good thing, you know, that you have to be quick thinking, man. Quick thinking in that regard. Anyways, um, take out quick thinking, brothers and sisters. That one didn't do some quick thinking at all. Um, this one apparently went down the hill somewhere. This is up more than Spanish, I believe. I just remember one of the bikers of Postmouth tell me certain things that used to happen to him. He actually went down a cliff a couple times, a few times. <laughs> he went down a few Man, I tell you. It's each, each, each biker, each real biker has a story to tell, man. I know I have my story to tell. I'm like the biker, biker like these guys, you know. But I just remember some of them stories, man. We enjoyed riding bikes. That's something that it's in us, man. It's in us, you know. Things can happen, you know. Some people might say, oh, why are you riding bikes for? Well, why are you riding vehicles for when vehicles have a higher probability of accidents? It's a statistical fact. Yet still, people still riding vehicles. And you're talking about the death rates of vehicles versus people passing away from bikes. So, if you're looking at the statistics of bikes, you would, you would realize, hey, bikes are pretty much safer than cars themselves. I lost a number of individuals on cars. If I had to count on my fingers in terms of cars and, and vehicle, you know, the closed vehicles and stuff, I can tell you there's a number of folk, folks I know who passed away as a result of cars versus bikes. So... The best thing you can do is pray before you leave. Um, put on your protection if you have to put on your head protection and your, your thing. I know some of the individuals probably didn't have their own. Um, me, I, I'm not, I'm not going to be like, uh, you know, telling people things I don't do it. <laughs> when I'm riding in Postman Brothers and Sisters, I, 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 you will hardly see me with my helmet. But if I'm going long distances, I definitely have my helmet. Especially if I have somebody behind me. I'm definitely going to get my helmet and the person a helmet and I'm going to get my, my chest guard as well. Because if anything has to happen, I'm going to take the blue instead of the person at the back of me. I will not be, I will not be you know, so I always have my stuff on me. And yeah, but anyways, brothers and sisters, all my life, well not all my life, since I got a bike from the very beginning to now, I've only had like two incidences um, that happened. Um, one when I was racing and then my back tire was thin now, thin out, and I ended up sliding in Tantan -tan region, that's in the north of Dominica, and my foot shh, grazed the road, road tax. <laughs> Think about road tax. This individual apparently had some road taxes, brothers and sisters, and this girl as well had some road tax. So that seems like there's in, this is in KFC. So I'm guessing that's you know what happened to her. But that's nothing, brothers and sisters. That's nothing. Um, it's just on the basis I would urge any viewers to, you know, wear their protective gears and stuff. When I'm going distances, if I was with them rolling, brothers and sisters, I'm wearing my protective gears, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. Anything can happen, you never know. Wear my stuff, wear my, my pants, my 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 jacket, my helmet. Yeah, and I good to go. And then wear these have a or anyways. Anyways, brothers and sisters, I just thought I would show you guys this thing right there. A little distraction from, you know, what is going on. You know, trying to take the people's mind of what is actually taking place. But of course, if you want to get back into what is taking place, you will tune into the RBP TV <laughs> reactions, brothers and sisters. I'll be dropping another video on that today. Um, I actually have a number of videos, man, but I'll drop them during the week. If other things pop up, then I'll drop two reactions on the RBP TV during the week, guys. So welcome to a new week. Hopefully, we survive to see the end of that week as well. Big up to everybody who participated in that event, the Bike Life event, and the Bike Life Tour and whatnot. You know, different things will happen, brothers and sisters. It's always, you know, something that might, you know, happen. Just as long as everybody made it, you know, to, to, to today, that's what I'm happy about right there. Anyways, guys, if all I said right there, give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more, definitely subscribe and turn on that post notification so you can get all the videos as they tend to come from. I'll see you guys in the next reaction video, guys. Tune in to be RBP TV later on. Boom, bam.